Hello and welcome to CAD Chaos. I'm your host, Michael Smith, and this is episode two of the YouTube Backplate Project. Now, in the last episode, we covered the replay video button, but in this episode, we're going to be covering the subscribe button and how I modeled that. And we'll also be finishing off with the three windows you see at the bottom of the part. So let's hop to it. Now, to line up my subscribe button, I want to use some geometry from the replay button. So I end up creating this sketch here. I'm going to create a couple of construction lines in the top and the bottom just to give an idea of where the center of that is. Now I'm just going to line this all up. I'm going to use construction lines here because I intend to bring in text, which I'll then use a surface extrude um, later on. So you'll see that I used a construction line there, and I'm going to end up creating an offset. And that's the half the distance of that, the height of my text. Um, and for me, that's actually really important because now I know it's centered up within the geometry there, so I have my outline and I have my text. So now I'm going to create a surface extrude from that text I just created, and I'm going to go through all on the part here. And now I'm going to come up and I'm going to use the split command, similar to how I did with the replay button. Now if it's a little bit careful here, you'll notice that the insides of the letters, like the B's and uh, the R, will not actually cut out. I needed to be a little bit more careful and select the inner parts of the body. But I end up just using the split command multiple times. It's a little dirty, but it ends up working out just fine. Now with this, I end up finding that it's a lot easier just to select off that little fly out there rather than trying to click on the surface because you know it's hidden within the solid body. So now what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a sweep cut. Now for this, I wanted to create a sketch on this top of my subscribe button here and I want it to be an oval so I'm going to end up using the slot command here and then my thought is that I can take the profile and revolve it around that slot so I just lay out the dimensions here I'm going to enter a construction plane or a, a bit of a reference geometry to the end of that slot there right where the arc begins so now I'm going to lay out the profile I was looking here. I'm not too terribly careful because I just wanted to see if it would work and I'd clean up the geometry later if it actually did work. But as it turns out, this process doesn't work because that center bit there just doesn't work. It creates zero geometry and it doesn't just gives me rebuild errors. So I end up finding that, well, this is going to be a little bit longer of a process. So what I have to do is I'm just going to revolve that profile around 180 degrees. And you'll notice that it has a little bit of point there, so I end up taking this arc and making it tangent to a line parallel to the surface. And so when the arc is created, it'll line up and be a consistent arc rather than have a point to it. Now my thought here is I can mirror this feature and then just select the bodies that I wanted it to affect. But that's a little bit too fancy and that didn't work out either, so I end up just moving this construction geometry to the other end converting over the sketch um, profile here and revolving it 180 degrees. So I just did the same thing on the other side. And now here I'm just going to create a sketch right inside here. And I'm just going to convert some of the geometry there. Make an arc and then I'll just make that tangent to the same arc and extrude that through the part there. So that gives me the nice rounded look I was looking for. Add a fillet, dress things up. And yeah, that makes a really good subscribe button. So now I'm going to come in here, I'm going to do what I did on the replay button, and I'm going to move this geometry out from the surface to give it a little bit more depth. Now the thought here was that I could add a couple of chamfers and maybe add a just a, an extra little amount of effect to it, a little bit more detail. But as it turns out, trying to chamfer this small area on across all these different letters that are arcing and it it just ended up not working out so I kind of abandoned the idea and just said hey you know what that's good enough all right so now I'm gonna finish this off I got the subscribe button looking how I wanted it I'm gonna hide the line so things are moving around a little bit faster on my end and I'm just gonna create a bunch of rectangles here and space them evenly and these are gonna become windows that will later be transparent so I can lay in images behind them and the users, YouTube viewers, can select 
the images behind there and get redirected to other content on my channel. So there you have it, a little bit of fillet, render this out, chamfer the edges, and a nice little soft fillet, and yeah, that'll work out real good. And that concludes episode 2 of the YouTube Backplay Project. If you found it helpful, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.